So I got a little bit of a strange video clip for you on this one. This did happen within the last 24 hours or so, although you may not have seen it because news stations aren't really carrying it too much. They have mentioned it. I'll talk about how they mentioned it in the way that they did, which is kind of interesting. But let me just show you the clip and then I'll talk about it afterwards. What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? No, that's gasoline. Was there uh, some type of direction? Or you just felt like this is what you needed to do? Okay, Cherokee War Chief, what on the earth does that have to do with an MLK? Same mentality, okay? And that's why he's putting you in a position in which you can Where still the breathe. They're on their way. But you're... Uh, nobody's, nobody's trying to hurt you. We just want to make sure the house, nothing happens to it. And... No, we are just... <laughs> yeah, are, are you I'm comfortable, comfortable young lady? Looking at this crib. Okay, as long as you can and breathe and you're comfortable, we're good. I got to call my sister and tell me if there's no No, it's, it's the police are on their way. It's fine. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I ain't fooling. It's fine. The police are on their way. Okay, so if it's in the road, like there is no emergency vehicles. Well, it seems like they didn't know the address. Here they come. Okay, I hear something. Okay, here we go. <laughs> come down to the oh, okay. here they come. You doing okay? Mm -hmm. So we were, me and him were looking at the house, just checking it out. We're not from here, and um, she came up behind us, had a gas can. And at first she just seemed like... So the clip ends there, but this lady was pouring gasoline on the birth home of Martin Luther King Jr. in Atlanta, and it's very strange. Now, there have been some reports that are coming out that this lady was formerly of the military, that she's been struggling, going through some mental health issues. Clearly, this may not even be a news story that you have seen because they're not really too prominent with this sort of news story. I do think most likely because the person who was doing this does not fit the narrative of what the news story would put out there if this was some white guy doing this regardless of he if he was ex-military or if he had mental struggles or things like that it wouldn't even matter if his skin was white and he was doing this this would be plastered everywhere as the number one news story of the day but we have somebody here who clearly has some mental health issues going on but she's not white and therefore this is a new story you may not even have heard about or will ever have heard about if you did not watch this channel. But I find it interesting that she's trying to burn down the house of Martin Luther King Jr. The reality though is that liberals have already burned down the name of Martin Luther King Jr. This guy who came on the scene during the civil rights era and really preached peace and not judging everyone by the color of their skin. His ideas are no longer looked at by the left as the way forward. Of course, you know that they judge everything by the color of somebody's skin. They report things or don't report things based off of the color of people's skins. We are told to so fully judge people by the color of their skin, it's ridiculous. E even to the point of going to college or getting a job or whether or not you even listen to what somebody has to say. Are they of a certain race? Then you can listen to them. If they're not, then I'm sorry, we can't listen to you. If you're of this color, then you're oppressor. If you're not, then you're not oppressor. Everything is based off of the color of skin. So she's attempting to burn Martin Luther King Jr.'s house down. But the fact of the matter is, is our current world has already burned down the name of Martin Luther King Jr. They have been trying to do this for a long time and they've been fairly successful at it. 2023, I don't even know how much relevance they even give this guy anymore because his ideas are not what they want going forward. They want a culture war. They want a race war. And this is everything that they're trying to do. So this lady, she does in fact need some help. So the big story here probably Probably isn't as much what this lady was doing, which of course is crazy and insane. It's more about how the media presents the story or doesn't actually present the story to you and how they would have done so otherwise if the situation was just slightly different. Anyway, what do you think about this? Leave your comments below. Love to hear from you. Catch you on the next video.